Hey, Stephen Smith here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today, and that word is anointed. That's right, you're anointed. If you're a child of God, if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, God himself has poured his spirit out on you. Now, it's whether or not you are allowing him to speak through you, if you're allowing him to operate in your lives, that you actually see the effects of this. Let me share a few scriptures with you that actually help us to understand the power of God's own spirit within us. The first scripture is Acts 2, 17 and 18. It says, in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. In those days, I will pour out my spirit even on my servants, men and women alike, and they will prophesy. The key word here is all. God says that he'll pour out his spirit on all mankind. It's available for every single one of us, but it's whether or not we allow him out of the trunk, so to speak, to come get out and do the things that he's designed for. Imagine if you're driving down the car, down the street, and you have somebody that's a much better driver than you, knows exactly where you're going, has an idea of the best way to get there, and he can see everything that's gonna harm you. Well, we take him and we put him in the trunk, right? Well, no, not really. Sometimes we throw him in the back seat and we say, hey, you be the back seat driver. You know and I know, especially as a man, we don't pay attention to the back seat driver. The best place for that person is actually in the front seat as the driver of the vehicle, getting us from point A to point B and getting us there safely and successfully. That's what the Holy Spirit does for us. When we don't allow him to operate in our lives, it's like driving with him in the trunk. So why not let him out of the trunk, loose him, enable him to be able to work in your lives? Look, Isaiah 11, 2 tells us this. This is the power of God's own spirit. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. That's six different things that the Holy Spirit does for us. Now, Isaiah 11 is actually telling us that this is the spirit that's on Christ. But if Christ is in you, the hope of glory, as the scriptures say, then this anointing is within you. And when his powerful spirit comes upon us, we have the spirit of wisdom, we have understanding, we have counsel, might, knowledge, and even the fear of the Lord. This is a great understanding that most of us don't have, but all we need to do is allow the Holy Spirit to do what he does and we'll absolutely possess it. Look, John the apostle who, who Jesus loved the most, or so John says, wrote two different passages where we see that we already have an anointing. A lot of us are out there running around looking for this special anointing. Read these two scriptures with me. The first one is 1 John 2.20. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. Wow, that's almost like I have the mind of Christ or something. It's really important for us to understand that we already have this anointing. It's a matter of us letting him loose. He goes on to say in 1 John 2.27, But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and is true and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. This is powerful because now God's own spirit is available in you, through you, to you, for you, to change your life, to transform you, to go out and to change the world through with God through you. You know, it's a huge difference for us. All we need to do is enable him to do this. Look, Jesus told us this in John 16, 13. He said, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. Can you use that? Imagine what will happen when you lose the Holy Spirit to go out into your life and to speak on his own, not speak on his own, but speak the words of God into your life. He'll tell you exactly what God has to say about you, including his will for your life. He'll even tell you what your future holds for you. We're talking about mysticism or anything like that. The Holy Spirit knows this. He'll tell you absolutely positively what your future holds. And I'll bet you anything, it's going to be fantastic. Well, here's a word that I believe that the Lord has for you today. Because of the work of my son, I have poured out my spirit on all people. My anointing is working in you and with you. He is a permissive spirit who will only go as far as you allow him. Loose him to flow through you and my power will be demonstrated through the world. Well, that's a good word for every single one of us, and I hope that you take the time to share this on Facebook. You're more than welcome to go to YouTube and check out our other posts. Even check out our website at awfg.today. It'll change your life. Well, God bless you, and I hope to hear from you soon.